Hello, I'm Nobby Clark. Welcome to my workshop. Um, I'm just doing this as partly as a quick introduction to my regular video, uh, which follows this. Um, in my last video, um, I showed a very nice book that uh, I purchased on eBay, um, Toy Steam, and it's the details of uh, various uh, Toy Steam engines that made in, in England. Um, I got a comment from uh, one of my viewers that uh, said, oh, if you're interested in Mammoth engines, um, you should get yourself a copy of uh, the story of, um, of Malin's Models. Malin's uh, the company that manufactured uh, the, the Mammoth uh, steam engine range. Um, I did uh, take a look on uh, eBay and Amazon and everywhere else, but it was actually a very expensive book and it's a little bit more than really I would comfortably want to, to spend on a book. Um, but uh, since then, uh, another uh, viewer of my channel and a subscriber to my channel very kindly bought me a copy of it, <laughs> which is sent to me um, telling it's an early Christmas present for you. Oh, it's such a a generous and, and kind thing for, for the gentleman to do but it is um, a, a beautiful book it uh, covers the, the, if you like, the sort of the history of, uh, of uh, all the mammoth models pictures beautiful colour pictures of them and uh, all sorts of other illustrations pictures of a lot of very early adverts of them as well so it's going to be a very interesting book to read um, along with this one as well. So I'm very, very pleased to have received that. You know, such a, a wonderful gift, really, so kind. Um, I think by the end of reading both of these books, um, I've become a sort of a, a mini expert on mammoth engines, although I only own two. Uh, one is um, a, a traction engine, which is that is this one when i bought this um actually a few years ago now um i've, I've probably had this for i don't know seven eight years or more um it's i guess one of those things that lots of boys wanted to have uh when they were younger and uh, never got one and uh, i saw this uh on ebay and managed to get this at a, a very reasonable price actually Again, it's something I, I've never operated on steam. Um, I've only um, operated this on compressed air. Obviously, you can remove um, uh, the safety valve or the steam whistle and then uh, run it on compressed air. And it runs beautifully, absolutely fine. It's not in mint condition, but it is in quite nice condition, actually. Um, it's uh, It has got probably on here uh, the steel part which isn't protected by paint probably um, a little bit more rust which I had cleaned off because for a long time I had this in the workshop with me it was over near the the window of my workshop but when I noticed it noticed it was picking up a bit of uh, a rusting um, I cleaned it up and, and took it back indoors again which uh, I will do now <laughs> and keep it indoors well anyway there's just something extra that I wanted to to add um, just prior to um, my regular video uh, which comes up next hello this is Nobby Clark welcome to my workshop um, I just wanted to show you uh, this little um, engine it's a, a sterling engine and it was bought for me um, well, I think two or three years ago by my wife and it's sold in um, sort of construction kit form. Um, all the parts uh, are packed separately. And uh, it's just and then a, a matter of the fun of uh, assembling all the bits and pieces. Um, I hadn't run it because I, I received this, I think it was a Christmas present, so in the winter time, and I wasn't then getting into the workshop, so I couldn't actually run it. Um, but after I'd assembled it, um, for the life of me, I couldn't find the wick. 
<laughs> um, you see the, the, the wick here um, and below this little plate which is removed uh, with a little um, uh, Allen screw here below that is the reservoir for the methylated spirits. Um, I just recently um, I had a look on eBay and uh, I couldn't find uh, any wicks of the right size but obviously I was searching completely the wrong thing. Um, I eventually found uh, some wick material oh, it's here um, which is actually sold as oil lamp wick obviously I was looking for completely the wrong thing. Um, prior to this I did get this actually running uh, at one point using one of these very very small um, little gas burners that you can use to, to light the uh, your kitchen oven or light cigarettes or whatever you want to do with it and I've used this to light the, the wick itself um, so if we'll see if I can get it running if it's oh yeah there we are obviously it's heated up enough now to to run it and I've used uh, I've used the sort of testing it before I use a pair of pliers here just to, to raise the height of the wick to raise the um the flame height under the under the reservoir here it's um very tiny uh, area to put the methylated spirit so it doesn't run actually for very long sort of long enough just to uh, for the amusement of seeing it running really but i, I just thought i'd share that, that with you it's a super little engine um, and when i'd seen them um on, on YouTube before, various people that have bought these, they're, they're, they're manufactured in China, they, this came from a UK seller, and people that had shown them running and people showed them uh, the stages of assembling them as well. Uh, very, very easy uh, to put together, I think there were one or two parts that were a little bit fiddly to fit together, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's really nice, runs uh, very, very well indeed, I think. Uh, something a bit different to anything else uh, I've, I've shown on, on my channel, but uh, I thought I'd you know, just like to share this with you, really. Quite uh, excited to have this running properly. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm, I'm in the workshop now, and I have put the... Um, the engine on a, a piece of steel here. I, mean, I don't think it actually transmits very much heat through the base anyway, so it's, it, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but I uh, always take every uh, safety precaution in the workshop uh, at all times. It seems to be running a little bit slower now, so perhaps the flame is... Oh no, no, it's... It is, about the same I think. Let's stop it and see if I can get it restarted again. And of course you can adjust the height of the, uh, the flame by moving the wick up and down. When I order the wick you, you order it in, in what uh, sort of particular diameter you, you actually want. Um, this is um, I think uh, Five I think it's five or six millimeter. Um, when it actually arrived, I was rather worried that um, it was too big to go through the um, the hole in the the plate over the uh, the meth the mess um, reservoir there. But just by sort of uh, teasing the the end in and pulling it through with a, a pair of pliers, pushing it through the screwdriver first. And then pair of pliers just to pull it through to the height I wanted it. It's fine. I know it's rather a lot of wick. Yeah, it's probably um, if it's just for this machine, probably a lifetime supply actually. But um, perhaps you know, may in the future be something else uh, the, the wick could be used for. Well, anyway, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed that. Um, yeah, thanks again for joining me and. Uh, Thanks again, obviously, to all the, uh, the commenters uh, on my channel as well. Or comments to the channel. Uh, lots of, sort of very interesting uh, information being passed to me as well. And 
it's nice also that the subscribers to my channel are, are growing quite nicely, quite steadily now, which it is very, very pleasing for me to see, really. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm sort of hoping that uh, perhaps uh, in, in time I can add uh, a few more to the channel. Let's see if I can very carefully turn that round to the other side. I'll give you a look from that side as well. There we go. Great fun. <laughs> anyway, thanks very, very much indeed for joining me and bye-bye for now.